Hello, and welcome to... Wreckage of the uh, Old Boats. Yeah, Wreckage of the Old Boats. That I just have to take a second to realize this isn't the ashes when of the old world. When we said see you next time, we actually meant see you in like five minutes, because this is episode three, part three, fuckers! Oh, yeah. shit. All right, so um, before we get started, um, there is a thing I'm going to do. Um, All right. One of the passive benefits that the wolf does is sometime, sometimes picks items up. And I've set up a whole table for this. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, there's this weird table thing. It doesn't look like a table, but let's roll it. Good job. Good job. Good, good, good job, wolf. <laughs> Good wolf has job. found nothing. So wolf was busy playing with other wolf. Yep, they 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 are playing. They were having a play. So the possible things that wolf could find um, is a trinket, an old stick, a gold piece, a silver piece, nothing, which is the most common thing. Common magic item, rare magic item, very rare magic item, and legendary, item, which is so rare I doubt you'll get it. So that's like a hundred out of a hundred. Okay. Uh, before before we get in too into anything, my watch beeped, which means I have to take my medicine. So I will be right back. Oh. Okay. Oh. Perhaps we should have started recording a little bit later. Oh well. Oh well. <clears throat> so then we got to uh, the find nothing, right? Uh yeah. They they find uh, nothing. They physically. They go. They go right up to you and drop in front of you. Nothing. They they seem to do this a lot. Uh, good dog. Yeah. yeah. They are uh, getting along fairly well with the other dog you've encountered. Great. Uh, yes. A, a Labrador crystal retriever. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google something. Uh, um, so, did I make our, our nice little social interactions awkward enough? Yes, you did. Just every <laughs> fucking conversation you go in is a little awkward. <laughs> so. So. Would you like some rations? Sorry, what? <laughs> would you like some uh, rations? Um, I'm sorry. Did you mean would? Uh, did you mean to ask me if I had actual food? Yeah, I do. That wasn't what I asked, but okay. I asked if you would like some, so I was offering. But you know, if you're good, I'm good. Cool. No, I'm saying I'm asking if you want anything to eat. Oh, you're asking me. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, I, I'm hungry. I could go for some. All right. So she hands you a whole dead cat number. <gasps> <laughs> Can you imagine? No. Uh, she uh, gives you gives you a piece of deer meat. Yay! It's very, it's very deer meat. Oh boy! Now, I mean, um, how does it taste? Um, uh, you know, let me roll on that. That's some good deer. That's some good deer. Yum 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 yum. Yo, hey, chill. You try some of this deer? This deer's great! Okay. <laughs> Lucy okay. Does, a, does a pass to chill for the meat. There you go. Just shoving it in his face. <laughs> you just <laughs> can imagine <laughs> slapping it against his head. It's like, eat it! Eat it! <laughs> well, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I was more meaning just like, right in front of his face but okay <laughs> it's just like okay too close <laughs> unreasonably close huh? oh, I'm shoving meat in front of um, 
uh, deer meat in front of uh, Chill's face. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Saying, here, try some. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> so he he grabs it away from you and just eats it because it's a little too close. <laughs> just gently pushing you away. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like sh- trying to shove the, the the meat in his face and then gets shoved back a bit like that. Yes. <laughs> like what? <Okay. laughs> I need space to move my arms around. <laughs> Or just space in general, really. (laughs) How are you feeling? Uh, better. I'm feeling a lot better. I felt worse. I I feel better. Well, that's good. If you need any more assistance, uh, I could try to bandage you up a little more. Uh, I'll think it'll be good for now. If if I start feeling pain, I'll be sure to ask you. Great. So, the little girl that was with you, is, is she done screaming at me now? Alright, so, uh, it turns out, uh, she's cut holes in the sheet that, uh, that's been tossed over, over her, and she's just running around pretending to be a ghost. <laughs> oh no, it's a ghost! Ghost? Where? Where? Ah! Kid with the sh- pretends <laughs> to be chased around by by little ghost. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, oh, that's adorable. Uh, no. ah! Seems you're having fun being a. Undead worshipper. Got it. Sorry, what? Ghosts are undead, remember? If anything, I'm running away from the undead. Not you, Icky. The girl. You, you should you should teach her to fear those things as she grows up. Not become one. But... Well, I would hope she wouldn't be. <laughs> I think I would hope that she would hope that she wouldn't be. Who's wanting this? Like d- deep down in my heart, it's my hope that this little girl doesn't become a ghost someday. I hope so too. They're not very good role models. Uh, um, okay. <laughs> She just turns to Hickey and she'll be alright. He shrugs. <laughs> he doesn't like undead stuff. Oh, okay. I mean, it's just a fucking sheet over a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's blasphemous, that's what it is. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, on. Tomb Cat, time to get some fresh air. Jesus. <laughs> Over but the I haven't. Outside. But I haven't told them more about the fairy man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, if you need anything, we'll be here in a cabin in the mountain, out of in a remote location. Stay safe. You too. If you need anything, just ask. Stay away from the undead. Shoves out. (laughs) 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 Okay. Uh, All right. So, um, that's the thing. (laughs) Well, okay. So now we're going to be heading to Spice Bay. Spice Bay. I don't know why I'm still talking in my, um, doom voice. It's, uh, it's a habit. Oh! I'm gonna use, uh, this as a... Uh, I wasn't... It doesn't have any transparency, but shit, whatever, I'll grab it anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, so... 
Like I said, roll sur survival to determine how quickly you arrive there, but no matter what you roll, you're going to arrive there unless you crit. All right, let's do it. Woo! Neat. Takes you exactly two days. All Never right. mind, it takes you about <laughs> a day and a half. You and your plus one and rolling really high. <laughs> I got it's plus a plus one. How much good could it do? <laughs> I'm a plus three. Look what I rolled. Right. Uh. So let me. Three. You said it's one day that it took us. Day and a half. Day and a half. All right. So <clears throat> should I mark down two days of ration then? Yes. Do do. Um. Before you guys enter in, either of you like to roll a history check on Spice but Yes, please. Sure. Okay. Oh. Oh! Oh, hey! <laughs> you two are very familiar with Bay. Um, well, I suppose Toom would be, like, looking it up when he's traveling toward it last time before the Kraken exploded a boat. But uh, and Spice Icky probably knows about it because Port Town. Yeah. So, um, hold on. Bef go over and mark down the fact it's been a day and a half. So, uh, what you know about Spice Bay, uh, especially, other than it being a port town, it is a little bit overrun with um, a group called the Order of Silence. This. Spice Bay is one of the locations that's incredibly accepting culturally of the Order of Silence, which is a of fanatic magic haters. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh for me, not you. Oh jeez, maybe. No, uh oh if mask change person. Mm. Oh. Okay, so... Whoa! There it's we nice go. and grassy here, unlike the mountain. It, the mountain was just rock. So, wow, this place is nice. Better than those rocky mountains. Two of my swear to fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Uh. The so, ground yeah. matches Broccoli's hair. Hey, That's, so it uh, does. It's hilarious, Icky. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. I wonder when you're gonna learn that his name is Chill. I like Broccoli better. A broccoli well. is healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, you've moved toward the town. You know about the some some of, somewhat about the occupants. Um, it offers a, like a usually wide variety, and although there's only six buildings on the map, it's a lot bigger than. Okay, well, yeah, that makes sense. You're not going to have the entirety of the city. Are we limited in city. movies in moving speed at all? Right move now, as quick, move as much as you want. Okay, Icky flies over here. Cool, you fall in for my trap. I'm kidding. Excuse Icky. Hello. Uh, Have uh, you seen person wearing a funny mask? Is kind of black on one side, white on one side. I have grown twenty feet now. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So this uh, strange yellow guard in horned armors. Uh, no, no, I haven't seen that recently. With a okay. chest on his chest. If you, if you see, if you see person is bad person, might make big evil spire thing of black bad stuff. That's, um, okay. I will, I will certainly make sure he does not get into this building. Not seriously. <laughs> is important person here? Uh... Oh, this uh, this is good bank. What's a bank? Um. Wow, I didn't think I'd ever get to ask that question. 
Well, basically, uh, when people want to keep their money safe, they give it to us and we lock it up until they want to grab it later. Okay. Sounds important, not seriously. <laughs> like, oh, wow, I go. I guess uh, you learn something new every day. Uh huh. Especially. Th thanks, chess dude. <laughs> Looks down at his chest like, wait, what? Oh. <laughs> 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 Literally looks down his chest. <laughs> Cause he's got a chest on him. <laughs> he's got a chest on his chest. <laughs> like when it was when it was the small size, I thought it was a hamburger for some reason. <laughs> the hamburger Whoa. guards. <laughs> All right. So what you doing, Tomb? Why? You, what you doing over there? I am walking into the door. Okay. And it's hoping unlocked. that it's open. <laughs> it's open. <All> right. <laughs> My word uh, choice could have been so much better. I just imagine him walking into bonk. the door. It's just All like right. do 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 do. Yeah. Uh, so Pokemon walk door walk wall walk into noises. <laughs> uh, so you walk in and you hear uh, the orc behind the counter go, "Welcome to Good Bank. We bank good." Hello. Yes. Uh, I'll Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> it good. <laughs> All right, so coins placed into the good bank bank can be picked up from a separate good bank bank. This is done by giving you a good bank coin voucher admissible at the good bank banks, which can be exchanged for the amount written on the good bank coin voucher. Good bank and all good bank banks are <laughs> responsible for the loss, theft, or discretion, uh, destruction of good bank coin vouchers, as will we be asked you admit upon with use of good bank contract of good bank bank use. Items, however, stay inside the location you store them in, as good bank is not a delivery service or offering any delivery service or in ownership of any delivery service currently. Any vouchers admissible only by the locations they are given out at. Good item Bank vouchers. Oh item vouchers, thank you. Uh, Good Bank also offers coin exchange for the exchange co uh, copper to silver, silver to gold, and gold to platinum. Or any vice versa ad advisable, as well as the exchange of gems for their equivalent in gold. Oh, hey, we can exchange our tiger gems. Oh, yeah. And also upgrade a lot of our coins. Since we have 633 copper pieces and 500 silver pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Icky goes and joins Tomb at the bank. Hello, welcome, welcome to Good Bank. We bank good. Um, so, I hear that we could exchange our, um, our items for, or our currency to be better currency or something? Yes, that is, we does coin exchange. We good bank. Good. I like this bank. This bank is nice. Or oh, it's good. This bank's good. good the orc bank. smiles happily. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I assume we just do currency exchanges of stuffs? Uh, yeah, um, so what it works is for every singular copper piece is... I mean, sorry, for every hundred copper can be turned into one gold. Every ten silver can be turned into one gold. Etc. Okay, right. okay, so we get six golds. So... 56 golds. Six yes. from the copper. Um, five from the silver. And then however the many tiger eye gems we had to add on to that. Do they exchange for the tiger eye gems? Uh, yes, they can if you want them to. Okay. I will then remove tiger eye gem from my inventory list. 
and replace it because I am going to do me a deposit of 150 golds. Oh, that explains why I couldn't find the tiger eye gem. I was looking in Chill's inventory. Oh. I was like, I could have sworn I added one tiger eye gem in here. Alright, uh, how much were they worth again? It was ten, I believe. Alright, so, yeah, they're going to, they can exchange your tiger eye gems for ten gold each. Okay. Hmm. I am also going to to do me a deposit of I was thinking I'd do 150 but I think I'm just going to do 100 even of gold so I have now obtained voucher yes you obtained a 100 gold admissible at any good bank bank Uh, I have no idea if I should give up my tiger eye gem it's up to you the reason I'm doing this is I thought to myself what if the players are worried about the weight their coins do Weight their coins do. Coins have weight too. Yes, they do. <clears throat> well, I am definitely going to exchange my silver and copper for gold. Okay. So that goes from uh, that gives me fifty six extra gold on top of my one thirty two. I think Icky probably ate the mice that she had in her bag on the way over <laughs> to the town, so those are no longer there. <laughs> probably. Christ. Alright, so that's 188. And I'm gonna exchange 30 copper for 3 silver. So now I have 3 copper, 3 silver, and 188 gold. Though I could exchange gold for platinum, since it's 10 gold per platinum, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is indeed. Uh, so 188 divided by 10 is 18. So I can have 18 platinum. That's that's one way to carry the least amount of uh, coins, but that's going to attract a lot of attention if you flash it out. That is true. So, you know what? I'll carry 28 gold and... 16 platinum for now. Uh, main reason so I can still use gold. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's see here. Total weight. I'm at 114.5 out of 195. Well, yeah. there you go. There I go. <laughs> One book of the Mask of Doom. Oh, <laughs> right. I got Saddle of the Cavalier. Yes, you could try and buy a horse. Yes, you could. I could try and buy a horse, yes. You are you are in the town and serve of purchasables. And you know, the equipment chapter in the player's handbook is available. To you. Cool. Okay. I'm going to go and buy a horse. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm gonna go buy some more arrows. Alright, uh... I'll let you guys, uh, deal with that. Hey! Where can I get a horse? Oh my god! That's going to make traveling so much easier! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so where Oh my we... god, we could use that saddle we found! Yeah! Why are we yelling? Oh. I don't know! High five! Yeah! <laughs> no, but seriously, where do we get a horse? Uh, Alright, so this is going to be done off screen. <clears throat> okay, I'm looking to see how much arrows cost. Uh, a bundle of 20 of them costs 1 gold. Okay. I will spend me three gold to get 60 arrows. Okay, so... I have just have arrow, so many arrows now. You have an arrow case. Um, I will get one of them as well. Uh, how much is that? A, a quiver, if you will. Yeah, that's what they're called. Okay, so a quiver is able to hold about 20 arrows. Do you want to get three quivers? Um... Mm. 
I will get one quiver, and I don't think there will be a time where I need to use more than 20 arrows in combat, and if there is, I will deal with it then. Alright, so a quiver's about one gold. Okay. I have... Mm -hmm. Actually, in that case, because I am a pedantic fucker, I will get 40 arrows and one quiver. <laughs> I have 57 <laughs> arrows. I don't think I need more than that right now. <laughs> okay. Pedantic. <laughs> Alright, uh, so we, as you walk around... Uh, we might want to look into getting... Or, uh, Chill might want to look into getting more javelins. Oh yeah, I, didn't, I don't think I ever mentioned him picking that one javelin back up. Yeah. So he's down to two currently. Alright, so uh, how gonna... many horses are we going to get, actually? Are we going to get a cart as well? You could probably get a carriage if you got enough money. Alright. Oh, um, looking through the, the... Uh, so... Oh, a draft horse is 50 gold. Riding horse is 75 gold. A donkey or a mule is gold. A pony is 30 gold. A war horse is 400 gold. A, okay, so a carriage... Holy crap. A carriage is 100 gold, a cart is 15 gold, a chariot is 250. Huh. A wagon is 35 gold, lead is 20. Well, a chariot would be a little... Too expensive. Well, I was going to say extravagant, but yeah. yeah. And by extravagant, I mean that's the stuff they had in gladiator arenas. It's like, why would we want a chariot? We'd be standing up the entire time. <laughs> um, also, I'm gonna get some rationy shit, like some food for when we're traveling. Okay. Uh, rations are about... A day of rations is five silver. Let me just... Where it is. Nope. Yeah, rations would probably be a very viable thing to buy right now. Okay, so two days of rations would be one gold, so let me just do some math here. So, um, Chill is going to be going into the blacksmith to buy all his weapon garbage. Uh, um, let's see. So, draft horse is basically a horse that races, right? Um. Yes. Hold on. Yep. Oh, no. Wait. No. What am I saying? Uh, riding horse is the one that goes fast. Well, riding horse but, is one that you ride. Draft horse is. No. Okay. See, so draft... I am going. In the meantime, I am spending thirty gold to get sixty days of rations. Fucking Christ! Holy shit! So, and ex except I'm going to be sharing this with the party, so it's actually more like twenty days of rations split amongst us. So okay, wait, okay, so you're getting sixty days of rations, but twenty for each of us. Yeah. Okay, well I don't have to worry about getting <laughs> the rations. Yeah, Thank so you. you can you can go splurge on some horse shit. <laughs> I don't want to splurge on horse shit. I don't want to splurge on horse shit. Get a whole pack of that horse shit. <laughs> no. Okay, let me map the rest. You know what I mean. Yes, I know what you mean. Okay, so. <laughs> right. Well, if we pull up our money together, we could get an elephant. Let's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> But it could carry a lot. <laughs> and it's... Oh my god. No, I'm gonna say no. That's literally too exotic for the area. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, hey, I got an elephant. The stable man just like... No. Oh, no. Okay. Really so... Oh, well. Hey, you got an elephant? No. We could right. probably get a horse and a carriage if we wanted. Yeah. yeah. Y you wanna do that? Yeah. I can buy the horse if you want to buy the carriage. Well, wait. Carriage is 100 gold, right? Mm-hmm. 
So how many horses we need to pull a carriage? That's a good question. Because uh, I know I want to a riding horse so I can at least use my saddle. I mean, you can ride on the horse while it pulls the carriage. It's not like you, can you even can't do both at the same time. You can, you can even detach a horse from a carriage if you want to separate and do like weird cavalier shit. Yeah, that's right. Yes, Carmel? Yeah? Hey. Hey. Carmel. You could also buy a shit ton of chicken for no reason. That's what you tried to do at one point, right? No, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Alright, so... Getting a riding horse is probably the better way to go, since it's faster. Mm -hmm. It's very much faster. Yeah, but it can't carry as much, though. That's what we get the carriage for. Oh, uh... Hmm. So, yeah. Okay, so the carriage is roughly 600 pounds, and the riding horse carrying capacity is 480. So you need two horses. Yes, uh, the draft horse has 540 You'd still need two horses. Uh, yeah, uh, the donkey or mule is 20. Which you'd still need two of. It's also, I don't know if you can ride a donkey or a mule. You can. You can. Really? Yes, you can. Huh. They go as about as fast as horses, but I'm pretty sure they're not as powerful. Like. Alright, so we can get two donkeys... Or mules, whatever you want to use it for. You can, you, you, I can get a riding you, horse. Yeah. You you could probably buy two two donkeys or a mule, and your own riding horse if you so desire. Well, I want to be able because I don't think a medium sized creature could ride a mule or a donkey. <laughs> could they? If, if 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 I got a dog, ride it. Okay. If it, can, if it can carry 420 pounds, it can carry you. <laughs> okay. Te technically, actually, Fair. if we have some saddlebags and shit, we wouldn't need the carriage. Oh. Yeah. Just I don't think we room. have enough stuff that weighs things that we need to buy a goddamn carriage or cart just yet. Unless you want to get one of those things so we don't have to walk as much. Yeah. Well, if we buy horses or mules or whatever, we won't have to anyway. It's up to you. Uh, Ashes of the Old World, Episode 3, Part 3, The Shopping Trip. I mean, <laughs> like, I, I do some shopping episodes. It's fine. So apparently donkeys don't have stats, but mules do, so I'm guessing they take the mule stat. Uh, okay. The mule is considered to be a large animal for the purposes of determining its carrying capacity. Fair enough, okay. okay. Sure-footed. The mule has advantage on strength and dexterity saving throws made against effects that would not be prone. Oh. And I got, oh. and I, got, I got hoof attack. Okay, so we can get ourselves... Three donkeys, I guess. <laughs> or three mules. He uh he uh Okay, so I guess we're uh. getting some mules and some food for them. I, I just want to see the riding horse real quick. Large also, beast. Also, um, and... saddles. <laughs> Passive perception. Oh, it has a melee weapon attack of its hooves. Yep. Interesting. That well, yeah, the riding horse. <laughs> its I, hit points I, are thirteen, like mine. Uh, you go together like peas in a pod. Yeah, but it's expensive. Uh, hand out. Um, no, I think the mule <laughs> might be better. <laughs> okay, so uh, you going? You getting three? Yeah, I think we're gonna get three mules. Okay. What uh, we also need to get feed for them. Yep. Or else they will starve. Neat. And probably also some packs. Well, yes. Like and saddlebags. We'll need 
And sa- saddles. Saddle bags <laughs> and two saddles. Yeah. So do you want... Oh, wait. There's a saddle. There's a pack saddle or something. Well, first you need the riding saddle, which is ten gold pieces. Unless you want to do military, which I don't think we can do. Or exotic. which I don't think we want to waste our money on exotic. Yeah. Uh... Are you considered medium or small? Icky or tomb? Icky. Yeah. I am medium burb. Okay, just checking. Yep, I am medium cat. <clears throat> Alright, so are you naming these mule? Um, my mule shall be called Pablo. Wow, nice. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> I, I actually do have some ideas. I just need to look this up real quick. Alright, so I'm going to put this in a ha- editable handout uh, in the Crunchy Victims folder. Mm. Nah, it, it, it won't be called Pablo. I'm just joking. Um... <clears throat> so, yeah, edit, edit at your own discretion. Oh, it's. About to say, okay, fine, never mind. It's gonna be Pablo. All right, let me change Yo. it. Let me change it to um, uh, tiptoe. Oh, that's a good name. I like that name. Um, are we a lot? What, what should we name Chills? Hmm. What should Chill name his own meal? If he wants to. I'm not sure I'll name it uh, something un- inherently over fancy like. Uh, so wait, well, you're, you're buying mules, right? Yes. Yeah. He names his donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Tiptoe, Athos, and Donkey. <laughs> I'll have to make pogs for them later. Hee haw. So yeah. tiptoe, uh, tiptoe's going to have the saddle of uh, the cavalier, okay. and then just riding saddles for the other two, I guess. Okay, so, how, who who's spending what money for the donkeys? I'll, mules. I'll spend the uh, eight times three. Twenty-four gold. Actually, how much money does Chill have? He has a lot. Uh, okay. How much he got? Oh yeah, uh, you forgot he got money too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, should, should I convert this for chill? It's I, 56, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 56 plus 67. So, yeah, I'd, I'd imagine he would agree to help buying out mounts and stuff. Okay. He has 123 gold with Right now. Well, before if, buying of things. If he buys the thing, he'll have 99. If he's the one that buys all three mules, he'll have 99 gold. Uh, okay, how are we doing this? Are you buying the, them, or is he buying them, or? We can split the cost. It's 24 in all, so 12 and 24 12. for the mules, uh, 20 for two, two saddles, and then however much we want to spend on saddlebacks. Alright, so. 24 plus 20 plus saddlebags. Um, saddlebags are 4 GP each. How many saddlebags can we have on a mule? One or two? Um, I think about two, one for each side. Okay. So, let's say we... Uh, horses work. Let, let, let's say at the max, one, two, three, four... Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So that's 68 gold in all. Yeah, so at this point, you could probably keep your some or all of your engine on your mule. Uh, and then there's also the feed that we have to get them. Feed costs uh, five copper per day. It's not that bad. Okay. So, <laughs> so let's get a gold's worth of feed. No, so let me that, would just... be, that would actually be ridiculous since... The five copper pieces is ten pounds. Fucking Christ, man. Careful. Just waste your, all your carrying capacity with feed to feed the mules. 
Okay. Oh, the more you feed them, the faster they go. <laughs> <laughs> I think, like, two silver, which is like 40 pounds of feed, should be more than fine. So, ten copper is one silver, right? Yes. Okay, so... If we do how much silver? 20 silver? I said... 2, but 20... Because 2 is 40 pounds. If we do 20... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but, because if we... If we only spend... If we only spend 2 silver, that's like... Or days of feed? Also consider, if you're in a grassy area, they could probably eat grass. Okay, so probably get us, like... This, this is uh, for when you're in, like, we have deserts three mules. Or... Yeah, I'm just thinking. Probably get enough feed that we could travel for a few days across an area where they can't eat grass. Okay. How many days would be a few, like, four days? Depends on your definition of... No, I'm kidding. Anyway, uh, it would be three or four days, probably. All right, so if we prepare for four days, that's 40 pounds of food each, um, which would be two, four, six copper. Or, not copper, silver. So six silver is what we'd need to pay for... All of our mules to travel. Which is also 120 pounds of feed. But if it's only 40 pounds for each of them, that's not taking off much of their carrying capacity, so... Yeah, that's true. So, we, we can do that. Um, so... Plus... What did I say? So 2, 4, 6... Plus point six. So that's 68.6 for three meals. So I believe right now we each have 33 copper or so. Mm -hmm. So we could probably split, like take 20 copper off of ourselves to fee pay for the feed. Like 20 uh, copper. Yeah, Chill just pays the 20 copper mm -hmm. to save time. Yeah, sh <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> shit. Okay. I'll pay two silver. Okay. And then... How much for the rest of it? Alright, so... For the rest of it, we have 68. 68 divided by 3 is... 22.66666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666
I think I just yeah. flipped the V and the L in my mind, and they refused to go back to where they should be, so... At the uh, end of this all... Let, let, let's just... not forget, um... <clears throat> two saddle bags each. At right. the end of this all, I think I'm still amused by the thought of y'all running in, just riding into battle with some mules. <laughs> <laughs> we are the three amigos. Why do you oh. think I named one Athos? <laughs> oh Christ! <laughs> That's the Musketeers. I was I was gonna I was gonna suggest we name him after the three Musketeers. <laughs> But then you, you named yours Tiptoe, and I was just like, screw it. I'll just name mine after one of them. I will. I like Tiptoe. <laughs> tip we have Tiptoe, Donkey, and Athos. Um, <laughs> he has to be complicated. How much time we got left? Uh, we got about ten minutes. <laughs> Granted, I can cut out most of this, man. No, no way! Leave the shopping trip in, Nace! Don't be yeah. rude! Yeah, yeah, well, some people like hearing about the shopping trips. Okay. Uh, Besides, if we cut out most of it, they'll be like, where did those fucking mules come from? <laughs> Just noticing you're like 90 experience away from actually leveling up. Yeah. Alright, so, yep. riding a mule, walk it, uh, walking down through the grassy town. Making my way downtown, walking fast. All right, so to that direction is a walking church. faster. Oh, a church-like building, and over here is like a blacksmith building that you see. Uh, chill penguin decks, mule outside of. Okay, well, okay. Uh, so this is a church. What kind of church is this? Um, this is strangely enough. Uh. Do I roll religion check to, to understand it? You know what? Yes, please. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Alright, uh, this is a ch ch church slash chapel to the deity Tre. tre this Tricks. one. Yes, oh, Tre. Tre. Three. Domain of nature, god of plants, wildlife, time, maturity, fertility, and booty. Beauty. Oh, that's nice. Well, they can they can enjoy the tree. I'm not gonna go in there. This guy has a funny jacket. Oh, hello. King NPCs sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Nicky just stares at those like shoulder things that he's got going for him. Uh, hello. Hi. I think he likes your shoulders. Good. Oh, thank you. These are very good shoulders. They you want exercise every day. Get good shoulders. They are very good shoulders. He puts his he hands on the shoulders. <laughs> he's like, "Yep, very good, sturdy." Those are some shoulders. I'm totally not talking about the clothing bit of your shoulder. <laughs> Icky just moves on, like, nodding about how, what kind of exercise he must be able to do to make his shoulders stick out like that. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm Tomb. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Bob. Hi. Bob Shoulders. Hi, Bob Shoulders. You got some good shoulders. Thank you. I am Bob Shoulders. <laughs> Question. Do mm -hmm. these guys have bells on their hats? Yes. Icky no, no. reaches up and makes one jingle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he reaches up and baps a bell. It doesn't make any jingling sound. It seems like the ringer inside is just gone. She just gasps as if she's personally offended by this. <laughs> <laughs> Icky, what are you doing to these robed gentlemen? The, the bell doesn't make a noise. Well, that's because they probably broke it a while ago. It looks like an old bell. Yeah, it's actually part of the uh, quote-unquote uniform. Apparently none of these bells make any ringing. Huh, that is kind of odd. Well, it makes it you seems silent. Seems kind of counterintuitive. It, if you wear a bell, it won't it go ring. And, and it's, it's, it's symbolic. Oh, symbolic of what? Uh, we are the Order of Silence, and... Uh, bells don't ring. 
There's no, it's completely silent. Did you get it? Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good one. I would have never have known unless you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All these people just know growth now. and shrink. Like. <laughs> I imagine it's like a dramatic zoom in of them. <laughs> Order of the like silence. That that, <laughs> like that thing that One Piece does where it zooms in on a character and like everything else stops and it just shows like. Order of the Silence, this character's name, and, you know. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome! So, you you guys go around and be all sneaky-de-sneak? I mean, we try to be sometimes. <laughs> sometimes they trip, and then they find me. Oh, that sucks. I... Maybe it's because your robes are so long. It's exactly that reason. Oh, then why do you have your robes so long, then? Uh, it's it's a uniform thing. Oh. Every, everyone in the Order of Silence got to wear this really long robe. Except for the chapter leader, but eh. That doesn't that seem fair. That seems unfair. <laughs> <laughs> I just say that in fucking unison. So, I guess. <laughs> you twins? <laughs> yes, yeah, Vicky doesn't cat think she's bird. a twin to cat. <laughs> Uh, I've got five other siblings. It, it, none of them are the bird. Icky has five other siblings. None of them are cat. Was it five, actually? Let me double check on that. No, uh, Icky has seven siblings. Okay, look. Icky is winning in the sibling department. I think because, you know, birds... Oh, it's birds four. multiple eggs for the nest. I have four siblings. My bad. We both got that shit wrong. <laughs> I have five kids in the family, okay? Of which wow. I'm the oldest. If you weren't a cat and a bird, I would have said you reproduce like rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Are there rabbit uh. people? Oh god, I don't know. Nothing that I've seen. Maybe. There might be someday. Are you guys, like, guarding this building? Uh, Yes. Is oh. there a bad guy going to try and come in? Uh, I hope not. Relatively quiet around here, so it's just protecting a whole bunch of grain and feed and various other garbage inside. Oh, okay. By the way, have you seen a guy that wears a mask that has, like, half of it black and the other half white? Split vertically. Hold on, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you guys something, cause I. Or is uh, it horizontally? No, no, this is even better, cause the the way you're describing it, I'm going to say you're describing <laughs> it this way. No, it's fucking not. <laughs> oh, that's what the mask looks like. <laughs> now appeared behind you, fifteen feet tall, and just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like that. No. Uh, it has four <laughs> eye holes that are green. Yeah, Icky wouldn't be able to describe it properly. Tomb, on the other hand, should be able to. Yeah. I'm gonna say roll history to fucking remember. Oh. oh. The history of a couple days ago. Normal advantage I mean, or disadvantage? Um, I'm, I'm gonna say you didn't really get a good fucking look at it, so just normal. Alright. No, I... Good job, Tim. Oh, Actually, let's see white. if Icky remembers. I, I am genuinely curious to know if she fucking remembers. Nope, probably not. You both know that I, probably white and a mask. All right, I, I have <clears throat> one final person to do this with, even though they're oh, not there at the fucking, moment. Hold on a fucking moment. You got a fucking book on the thing. Yes, I do. Uh... We'll say Toom, like, pulls out the book to double-check to get a picture. Hey, He's like, oh, hey, hey, wait, hey, no, hey. that's not what it is. I'll <laughs> no, control I'm totally doing this Stop video. trying We're to doing... control my character. No, I will control <laughs> no, your character. you're not going to control I am not pulling out that book now. <laughs> okay. Do yourself. <laughs> Alright, so... I, I, I go to, like... Huh. If only we had a reference material. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> if only we had some kind of reference material written down and imaged in some kind of here, here. written word and uh, pictures. 
this this thing right here. Have you seen it? No. No. All right. Yeah. Oh, thanks anyway. Uh, you're welcome. Thank God, God, glad we could help. Yeah. But you didn't. But cool. <laughs> Okay. If you do see, let it, let us know. Shouldn't be too hard to find us in this city. Yeah, you you are very brightly colored, and honestly, I would not mistake you for anyone else in the town. She gives a thumbs up and follows Tumen. <laughs> hey, chill. Okay, so you find what you need. Then then you enter the same space and. <laughs> uh. <laughs> No, just looking around window shopping. Ah. Okay. Well, I mean... What else should we do here? I'm just... Skeleton waves as you walk around. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Not a skeleton! Who are you? Skeleton! Are you, are you saying that in character? Who are you? Hello, I'm a Skeleton. Why are you here? Are you here to corrupt the masses? Sorry, what? You <laughs> heard me! Tell me uh, now! Excuse my friend, he's a bit racist. To, to no. <laughs> Skeleton racist. <laughs> uh, yes, he is. I always found that kind of odd, because everyone's got a skeleton inside them. Yes, but it needs to be covered up. I'm wearing he covered up, see? He's already <laughs> dead. It is unholy. How do you know my skin simply isn't invisible? Ah, uh, okay, I'm gonna poke him. Can I poke him? Can I attempt to poke him? <laughs> you can you can poke him. Alright, I'm gonna poke him. Okay, you poke him. Is is the skin invisible? I uh, well you you're feeling bone. <laughs> Your skin's I'm... not invisible! <laughs> I am very skinny. <laughs> Icky looks over. No at one can ever be that skinny. <laughs> Icky's just like to chill. C can you bap him? Okay. Ah, uh, chill baps you. Ah. Uh, like I, I, I realize your propensity towards the undead, but I don't think it'd be a good idea. To Start a fuss in the town. <clears throat> but, 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 <laughs> but. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start trying to drag to him outside. <laughs> oh god. All right. Um. I'll I'll just allow it. <laughs> drags him out, kicking and screaming. But, but, but. but. I must bring the skeleton across the river stairs. Come oh. on, let's find a place to stay. We need a place to stay if we're going to be keeping an eye out for for Captain. But I must. Right. The ferryman compels me. All right, so uh, you think that's enough for the thing? Yeah. Before we <laughs> yeah. we find ourselves a residence for the night and shenanigans. Side. How much for residence of sleeping? I don't know, it doesn't cost. Whoop, shit. Doesn't cost. Uh, I don't think. I don't. I don't think it costs that much. Um, you know, just for. Uh, this is the wrong book. Oh. Wrong Good book. job. Oh, that's the monster manual. Yeah, the monster manual wouldn't really have that, now would it? Uh. Well, I'm on the right page, but not the right area. Have you heard of the word of the Lord and Savior of the Fairy Man? The Fairy Tim. Man. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop. Song, Come fairy on. Man. Let's go. I don't know okay. why I started going into my <clears throat> radio announcer voice. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds right. a little bit, but not quite similar to Fathom voice. Yeah, right, five silver each. So like five silver each. Okay. So basically, so, uh. Five, uh, one and a half gold. Yeah. Right. Depending on how long we're staying for. I'll spend one gold, you can spend five silver. 
Okay. All right, and that was. What about <laughs> Chill? Are we counting him in this too? Yeah, it's. Oh fun. my god, you're buying room for the fucking dog, but not Chill. <laughs> <laughs> I spent five silver for Chill. Okay. We we have obtained a did this place to stay. The dog is going to keep guard of our mules. All right, that's about over here. So next session, you will start inside this inn over here. Awesome. Sweet. Wait, where? In, in the inn. Inside the inn. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yeah. This has been Ashton of the Old Boats, and good thing we did the purchases because that's Ooh. important. Yeah. We have yeah. obtained a resource so that and we can promptly lose it when we die next session. More than likely. Maybe. Until then, the next time, ta- next time on Ashes of the Old Boat, we futz around for an episode trying to find the mask, only to find that he's not in this town anymore. See you guys then. Wreckage on the old boats. Bye. Wait. <laughs>